Hey and welcome back to my channel. You may recognize this. This is a flyback transformer. These are used in high voltage. And this is a ZVS driver, which is used to drive a flyback transformer to make high voltage arcs, such as this. So this is a typical flyback transformer. These consist of two ferrite uh, C-shaped uh, cores that, are, that meet in the middle. So it's actually a there's a break in the middle of this core, and that's why I have this tape on it. Your, your primary is this, and your secondary, which consists of 4,000 turns of thin wire, is parted in here and gives you high voltage AC output. So what if we, instead of using a C-shaped piece of ferrite like this, used a ferrite rod, what would happen? And that's what I want to show you in this video. And the results are actually quite amazing. See, here's a ferrite rod covered in electric tape and wound over with thin 30 gauge copper enameled wire. The secondary on the ferrite rod is then centered within the primary coil, as you can see here. We then connect this to a homemade ZVS driver to give the resonant frequency of the secondary coil. The whole thing is then powered with rectified mains from a Variac. I'm putting about 30 volts in. So here's our whole setup again with our ferrite rod transformer instead of a regular flyback transformer. Now the reason I'm using this homemade um, ZVS driver instead of this one that I bought is I reduced the capacitance on this to one microfarad and there's actually about I think there's like this one there's probably two microfarads on this so this one gives me the right resonant frequency to run this ferrite rod transformer at resonance so it should build up enormous amounts of energy and you notice that there's a pretty big air gap so the coupling between the primary and the secondary is not that high and the reason i have the big air gap is because i've got ferrite if i didn't have ferrite and then there was plastic say instead of or air instead of ferrite this wouldn't work so we've got a nice big air gap which kind of, I guess, in some ways, some, somehow equivalates to the air gap here. So let's see what that does when we power it on. Okay. So as you can see here, it gives a very hot, very intense arc. There's likely a lethal amount of current flowing. Well, that's really amazing. Here's a circuit diagram and the link is gonna be in the description.